Hello there and welcome to this Vicon Shogun feature focus video. Live subject calibration is the process that takes a performer's movements and generates a digital version of them, creating a solved skeleton in our software. This is done using what's called a range of motion, or a ROM, which the system uses to define things like bone lengths. Once a subject is calibrated, users can start collecting data which will eventually be used in their games or VFX productions. With the release of Shogun 1.10, we have introduced some tweaks that help achieve more accurate results while affording greater flexibility to the ROMs that users can perform. When it comes to delivering a good subject calibration, there are two things at work. One, the algorithms and technical processes in our software. Two, the actual data those algorithms and processes work with, as determined by the performer themselves. The second part of this introduces an interesting challenge, which is, how do we ensure enough of the right data is provided? To assist with this, we guide users on the motions that they should attempt, the order in which they are attempted, and how long each motion should go on for. The goal of this is to ensure that the software receives sufficient motion coverage of each joint to build a robust, accurate calibration of the subject. But this can be difficult in situations where a performer's flexibility or mobility isn't as extensive as in others. So the adjustments we've made to our live subject calibration have been designed to ensure better stability and consistency in the results across a broader range of motions or lack thereof. For an example of this, on screen now we can see a ROM being performed in Shogun 1.9. As we can see, due to a number of issues with this approach, there are problems with the skeleton, such as with the hips and the arms. If we review this exact same range of motion in Shogun 1.10, we can see a far more robust and accurate skeleton despite the motion being exactly the same. When we review these two videos side by side, the improvements become clear. In this case, we have explicitly used an extreme example to demonstrate that even under such conditions, we are able to produce a high quality skeleton, while requiring no extra work on the part of the performer. So while this passes the eyeball test, what does it mean in terms of actual data, in terms of raw numbers? In validating these improvements, we ran experiments using 250 ROM trials to measure divergences that occur across the various bone lengths. The graph seen on screen now contains lines for each bone and their divergences across all ROMs in Shogun 1.8. In short, the closer the lines are to the left-hand axis, the less divergences have occurred. For example, in 60% of the ROMs, the upper leg demonstrated a divergence of 9mm or less compared to the baseline. In Shogun 1.10, we can see that all bones demonstrate a significantly lower divergence and are generally far more consistent. The upper leg divergence of 9mm seen in Shogun 1.8 and 1.9 has been reduced to 2.5mm in Shogun 1.10. We built this validation around as broad a variety of ROMs as possible so that we can have confidence that these changes will benefit the broadest number of users. Fundamentally, this improvement means that existing users can continue to enjoy great and in some cases even better data for the exact same setup, process and time that they currently use to calibrate their performers. Thank you for watching this video and learning more about Shogun 1.10. We are excited to see the impact that these improvements have on our customer experiences and encourage you all to please get in touch with any feedback. Thank you for your time and we look forward to hearing from you.